Florence from Zimbabwe. Dear Pastor, is there a biblical reference to marriage in wedding vows? Does one need to make those vows? Or are there weddings conducted without those vows? That is, in sickness, in health, till death do us part? Well, um, the question whether there's a biblical reference to marriage and wedding vows seems ambiguous because marriage itself is a vow. You see, because um, it's through words. Because you understand that um, in marriage, it's not like you kidnap someone. You, you don't just catch somebody and take away, you know. There are words exchanged by uh, different people. So those words in themselves are the vows. But then in a wedding, which is a ceremony for the marriage, they may formalize the vows. And that's where I, I believe um, what you're trying to bring up here uh, really came from, where they try to formalize those vows and make a, 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 a real ceremony out of it. So those vows are ceremonial because the marriage itself is a vow. So um, why you wouldn't find any other biblical reference to a wedding with its vows, like you're asking, uh, you can understand that a marriage is in itself a vow. But then, here is your question. I, I think this is what, what troubles you. Are there weddings conducted without those vows? That is, in sickness, in health, till death do us part. The wordings of any vow will depend on those who are coming together. So, um, for any, any wedding, the parties have to decide what kind of vows they want. And it's important that you know that your vows can have a lot to do with your life. The wordings of your vow should not contradict the provisions that we have in Christ. You know, in our ministry, for example, um, we have wedding vows and those vows have been properly constructed to reflect the thinking of God's Word and I believe most organizations would have done the same uh, as far as their knowledge would go they would create the vows that they believe uh, you should have now if you have questions about those, those vows in that particular organization go to the authorities and say um, here's where I have a problem. Uh, I'm, I'm concerned about these particular wordings in the vows. And um, when you discuss that, they'll, they'll be able to explain their part to you why they have those sections in the vows. And you're either going to agree with them or disagree with them. Or at least you stand a chance of having a clear understanding of their beliefs.